here on day three. It's a lot windier today, a little cooler. I'm gonna hike this trail out. We're gonna see a lot of mountain goats today. So today's the day, get her done. Got a group of five or six billies out here. We're gonna go and check them out. And then a lone billy that we think is pretty good size. So stay tuned. Three or four goats bedded right over here. We're gonna see what they are. We've got some more just over this edge. We're in goat mecca right now, so hopefully we can find a shooter goat Millie here in one of these groups. in we've seen about 60 goats so far we got to the spot we wanted to get to we uh, located earlier this spring summer a couple of really good billies in here we're sitting here and we see five right now a couple look really good it's probably another mile downhill angling around to get to where the billies are we're going to go down and see if we can put the hammer on one of these go time right here down the steepest part so it wasn't too bad only fell once or twice so all of us are good and safe but uh, we still probably have a good mile to go before we get in shooting but we're gaining one step at a time Well, we got one spotted, so I think we might be uh, going after him here real quick. Good look at the building right now. Just confirming that's the one he wants to shoot. Then we'll get set up and let him dry fire as many times as he wants. Send one here. How far is that shot? It's about 600. Very doable for what gun we have. Should be, he's laying perfect for us, right? We'll bust him right to the front shoulder.
He's still rolling. I got him. I lost him. I got him. Second shot, and he jumped so bad. Like, <laughs> he jumped too, man. I was like holding the bipod or the tripod because I just couldn't follow him. Nobody put my ears on. <laughs> Pants were undone and everything. Cool, huh? <laughs> I was getting ready to adjust my it's pants. Hanging out of what, man? <laughs> I'm gonna feel a lot better as soon as we find them and get our hands on them. But I'm pretty pumped. Absolutely excited. I can't hear. I can't hear anything though. So. <laughs> Well, Trevor just made a great shot. T-boned him. I mean, just dropped him in his traps. Rolled down the hill, I don't know, maybe 100 yards. So we've been sitting here for a half hour watching him. Hasn't moved, so we're gonna make the John over there. We gotta go down and up and get to him. It'll take us at least an hour to get there. So pretty excited, get our hands on a goat finally. We've seen a lot of good billies. And what do we figure, 80, 90 goats on this trip? And this is the best Billy we've seen so far, so excited to get our hands on him. It's a great one. Way a bad boy. Yes, indeed. Good night, baby. Woohoo! You worked hard for that one, Trevor. He is a lot bigger than I thought he'd be oh. close up. You want to see this black here? Yeah. It hides so much of his horn. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know, just, especially it. from that far. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He's definitely worth the trip. You know you're gonna have to if I can get back in here. No, I got wipes somewhere. If you drink it, it's less for me. Less for me to carry down. All right, yeah, I, got I, I got plenty of water. Alright, thanks. Yeah, it makes me wonder if I did hit him back. Mm -hmm. First shot wasn't bad. Yeah, no, yeah, it's second, like a second one. But you know, that second one really didn't matter. Because we just... Ooh. Be honest in the heat of the moment like that just to get a second one anyway. Right. <laughs> you just, you're just trying to... Fire.
Well, we're about three quarters of the way down off the mountain. We're getting close to the road that we're trying to get to. When we get to that road, we got another two and a half mile hike out. But we just came through some of the cliffiest, gnarliest, badass stuff I ever want to walk through again. It was sketchy, boys, wasn't it? Very sketchy. I'm glad Josh is here because that pack, I don't know what it weighs, but it's way too much. Absolutely. He's managed to get down to there. I think we <coughs> call him Grambo because strong as an ox. Good thing to have with us, but we're gonna have stories to tell when we get back home. Been a hell of a hunt for sure. Yes, I'll do you know. Everything a good hunt needs. That's right. You're gonna earn every step of this deal, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. All right.